name is Tessa Moran, and I co-produced the film Barbarin with uh, Ben Crosby, who's not here with me right now. And the film is about three barbers in a barbershop on U Street. It's called Edge, Edge's Barbershop. And it's just a slice of their life in the day of the barbershop and how they connect with each other and their clients. Well, how did you, uh, how did you pick, uh, pick that idea? Well, we just moved to this area. We've been studying in um, Washington for four years and just moved to the U Street, Adams Morgan area. And we're really fascinated by the variety of cultures, especially the old-fashioned looking barbershops and thought it would be an interesting short documentary, just one day, a few hours. Um, and so we popped in a few shops and Edges was willing to, to do something with us and it, it turned out better than we expected. So I studied at Georgetown and I took a documentary course there and I did a historical documentary on the Ruby Slippers of Oz. Um, just about how people are obsessed with those slippers and how they'll do anything to get them. and. The historical significance of them, the significance of red, the significance of shoes and fairy tales, and it was it was really fun. So, and being in D.C. was a great place to do it because we were able to have an interview with the curator right in front of the ruby slippers themselves. So, um, that was my first film, and my co-director, my amazing co-director, sort of had a, a fiction background. Um, so he had also done some work. Um, he'd done a lot of short films fiction films, so um, he comes from the more creative side, whereas I come from the journalism, nonfiction side. So um, this is our first collaborative film together. Um, so we've had projects separately in our first collaborative film together. I think we have sort of a non-conventional um, uh, working relationship because uh, we both take the camera and we both do the directing and we both we both do the editing and we both do the research um, and we sort of pass it off um, whereas you know more traditional uh, filmmaking teams one person will be the camera person and the other person will be directing and asking the questions and interviewing um, but we found that we both sort of have a different eye when it comes to the camera and that lends to a very exciting and it lends to a lot of variety when it comes to the camera angles, and then on the other, and then on the other end, you know, people respond to us differently when we um, work with them. So we found that that working relationship works really well. So, and I sort of became interested. I, I went to DC Shorts last year and, and did some short film work before, but really wanted to start doing it on my own, um, and was inspired to do a short film and then a feature length and building, slowly building a production company from there. So um, we definitely wanted our first short film to start at DC Shorts because, um, premiere at DC Shorts because we were inspired by last year's films. We actually found a local artist to do the music, um, Preston Hart. He's a graduate of University of Maryland. Found him on Craigslist. That's the other great thing of this era, Craigslist. And, you know, as we were editing and as we got the music and as things started coming together, we considered doing the festival circuit and DC Shorts was first in our mind. Um, and getting the reception, now having shown it to several people, and I guess we'll see when, how it is received at DC Shorts, um, I think we're surprised how, how well people have received it. So I think we will consider other film festivals, including our city film festival. Um, it's going to be held at Busboys and Poets. Um, in November, I believe, and um, that's basically catered to our topic. It's about DC culture and um, slice of life type of documentaries and fiction films. So we're going to submit it to that and maybe consider some other shorts festivals. Mm -hmm.